Hey, it's Tim here. In today's video, we're doing something really, really quick to the camera. No editing. This is going straight to YouTube as soon as it's done. Lots of people have got in touch in comments and chats and various places to ask, hey, Tim, where are the videos you normally do on day one of the release? And long story short, we don't have them. Um, now, this time around with 2021.1, it's a bit of a tongue twister to say that, um, they didn't do a beta. So normally what happens is uh, at least a month, maybe normally two to three months before the release, we have a beta. And the beta is essentially an opportunity to do some testing, give some feedback on features, you know, highlight any major bugs that might be sort of existing out there that they haven't come across. Normally we get that time to do that and it's normally done through something that was called the pre-release program. Unfortunately, this time around that hasn't happened. So this is the first release 2021.1 where that hasn't happened. Now, for whatever reason, Tableau decided to change the game on this particular front. And um, um, so that means essentially I got hold of Tableau for the first time today, the same as all of you. And that's okay. I, I don't want any sort of preferential treatment whatsoever. I'd love that to always be the case. But the thing is, is that it doesn't leave people with much time to really get familiar with the features and actually share those uh, learnings. So, um, you know, lots of people today opening for the first time. I'm sure over the weekend, lots more people beyond just myself will be sharing videos and content about what's new and what's great in Tableau. Uh, now, Tableau themselves have stepped up the effort, to be fair. Over the last few uh, years, they've also stepped up their efforts when it comes to videos. And so if you go to the new uh, release page, which I've got here, uh, it's actually a great place. If you just want something to, you know, get that information now, you don't want to wait for my videos, this is a great place to go. Um, if you go to this page, uh, it's actually something that they've always done. So you can always scroll down and read some of the highlights from the release, what they consider to be the most important sort of big feature releases from uh, from this particular release. And they have a nice summary here at the bottom with the list of all the sort of features that are available. Now, there are also a couple of quirks here. Not every feature here made it out today. So things like um, Tableau Public Web Authoring hasn't actually made it into the final release just yet. So if you'd seen my previous videos on the preview and some of the other information around what was coming soon, then again, some of that has changed. And so it's worth just sort of coming to this page and checking that out. Now, the other thing they have done is they've done some videos. So if you click on this, see what's new in 2021 uh, link at the very top of this page, um, a chap called John Denby, who's just said hi, <laughs> takes you through the Tableau. Um, really good video, really nicely done. I love the production levels on this as always. So it's great to see Tableau stepping up to try and fill that gap so that everyone has something on day one as well. So uh, definitely go through it. Now, it's more of a slide uh, walkthrough. It's more of a PowerPoint walkthrough. That's really the only way you're doing it in 14 minutes for the whole entire release. So it's a really, really nice sort of um, uh, summary and sort of guide as to how it's all working. Uh, so definitely go check it out. Now, one last thing, if you go down and uh, scroll down a little bit, um, you'll see that they have this link here to say watch now. This actually takes you to another page which has all the previous releases as well in there. So there's actually this nice little playlist showing you what's new in all the previous versions. So if you've missed out on those as well and you haven't seen my videos, this is another great resource. So I just wanted to do a really, really quick video um, to sort of highlight to everyone uh, you know, ways they can find out what's new without waiting for my videos because I know people are messaging, people want to just use this weekend to get stuck in. Maybe you had plans this weekend to just enjoy some content. Uh, Tableau have some great content, so go check it out. If you're at Tableau and you're still thinking whether it was right or not to do the beta program, I highly encourage you to rethink that. From an enterprise perspective, it's a real downer because we normally want two months at least to play around with the new version. So by having no access to the beta, not really giving people an opportunity to test and play, especially your integration and technology partners, what essentially means is that we can't give our customers advice on whether it's a good uh, release or not. So um, if you can all, if you can at all change that perspective, if, if there's any way we can convince you that it's actually a good idea to let us you know, try these things in advance so we can know how they work, we know how they integrate, and we can provide that feedback to our customers, then it's uh, really, really valuable, especially with things like Tableau Online, where the customer doesn't have a choice on what version they are. They get upgraded automatically. So being able to tell them about what's coming is a really, really important feature. But apart from that, this is a really great sort of uh, release. Go check it out. Go see what Tableau have. Um, the, the dot one release is always a quieter release. So don't be too worried that there's not like this blockbuster set of features. The dot one is normally a quiet release anyway. So I'm sort of raising expectations for dot two and dot three as well um, uh, in that sort of expectation. But that's pretty much it. I'm back to editing videos. We've got two videos on the way. 
Um, and hopefully over the weekend, we'll do a few more. All right, get stuck in and I'll catch you in the next one.